Well, not only has St. Paul been busy, but so has its mayor. On Wednesday, he tried out the crash ice course. This is video from a camera the mayor was wearing as he went down part of the course. And on Friday, he spoke at the White House about the city's new parental leave policy that offers paid leave to all new parents. And Mayor Chris Coleman is joining us now. Thanks for coming on. Thank you so much. I, I I'm take... so glad you showed that as opposed to me falling. Well, we're going to show that in a bit, <laughs> oh, okay? Thank you. <laughs> what that does show is you went for quite a bit. And we want to talk about crash ice in just a minute. But first, we want to talk about the parental leave policy. You were invited to the White House to speak about it. Uh, St. Paul has a new policy. What does this policy offer? Well, it, and it's for employees in yes, the city. Yes, as of January 1st of this year, we have uh, provided for uh, parents of, an, of a newborn or a newly adopted child four weeks for a birth parent and two weeks of, uh, for a non-birth parent of paid parental leave. And it's really been, uh, I think, uh, it, it will be very helpful for us in terms of not only recruiting talented employees, but keeping them, which is really important. Right. And the figures on this, only 11% of, of private sector workers have paid leave, only 16% of government workers. This is going to cost you, though, $200,000 a year. Is this really worth it? Can, can St. Paul afford this? Well, we actually hope that number will grow because it means that more people are taking advantage of it. And when people take advantage of it, it means that they're staying in their jobs. That means that we are able to attract talented people. And we don't have to pay those costs that would be associated with rehiring someone else or retraining someone else or lost productivity. And so uh, to the $200,000 figure, we believe, will be more than offset by the cost that we don't spend on trying to bring in a new worker and retraining them. I know you work with a lot of mayors across the state. Uh, do you think this is something that the state of Minnesota should actually embrace? Some states, like California, put more of a mandate on employers. I mean, should, ma should employers in the state be mandated to do this? If you look at employers like Google, they offer four or five months of, of uh, uh, paid leave uh, for a new parent, and, and uh, you know, governments won't ever be able to offer that. But that's, you, you have to be competitive in the marketplace. People say, run government like a business. Uh, you know, and, and that's one of the things that smart businesses are doing that are trying to recruit employees that can go anywhere in the world to work. So I think whether it's at the state level or at city levels across this country, we were one of the first, I think one of the first three cities in the country to offer this. Uh, and you're already starting to see uh, other communities doing the same thing. You've gotten together with mayors from across the state to talk about roads in cities. What would you like to see the legislature do? Well, we hope that there's a comprehensive transportation package this year that takes care of needs not only in the Twin Cities, but all, all across the state of Minnesota. But one of those needs is on local roads, as I call the last mile traveled. So a, a truck uh, transporting goods through the state of Minnesota may be on the freeway for a while, but at some point it gets off the freeway and travels on a local street. If that street is, uh, is breaking down because it hasn't been uh, repaired for 50 years, uh, if there's potholes, if we have another winter like we had last year and have the, the, the challenges that we had, uh, it, it impedes commerce. It, it, it uh, costs people insurance uh, uh, money because they, they've got to fix their car that the, uh, the axle went out on. And, uh, so we think that the, the, the state should absolutely include in a, any comp a comprehensive transportation package support for cities across the state of Minnesota to, to fix their roads. All right, let's talk about crashed ice and the events last night. And we're going we're gonna to show some video of you. We'll, we'll show a little bit of the crash. You actually made it quite a ways. Um, tell us what, what it's like this course has been and what has it been. And that's you right there and the red breezers going down there. And I, I'm impressed. What's no, it like? Well, oh, we yeah, got that. No, that wasn't All impressed. right, he was he was up for a while, but but what has this crashed ice been like, and what was it like last night in St. Paul? Well, first of all, this is the biggest event that Red Bull does across the globe, uh, and they have crazy events uh, everywhere. And uh, the finals this year will be up in Edmonton, Canada. Uh, but the 140,000 people that were out last night, uh, not only watching the the uh, event, but then going down to West Seventh Street or going to some of the bars and restaurants on Selby or across the city. Uh, there wasn't a place uh, in the city of St. Paul that wasn't packed last night, and, and it was, we called it Minnesota's Mardi Gras. Uh, it was just absolutely a blast. And so uh, it, it's a great uh, kind of broadcast of, of the fun that we have in the winter in the state of Minnesota and in the city of St. Paul. All right, well, Mayor Chris Coleman, you are the bravest mayor in the city of, in the state of Minnesota. Or I have silliest, to say. we're not or sure. Or silliest, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you so much thank for coming so much. on.